Hello, hello. Today is March 6th. I'm going to turn that down. I have this really nice background music on. So, um, March 6th, and it was really interesting. I just read this to my husband because we were talking about this driving to go hike with the dogs, and then I'm getting ready to go for a mountain bike ride. So, this is so fascinating. We were talking about this, tiny changes. So, um, and I didn't put that, but I'll, I'll put that in here when I'm done. So, true life is lived when tiny changes occur. Leo Tolstoy. What a relief to actually lean into the idea that life is really about incremental changes that can lead me to a more fulfilling life. What if I already am the best version of myself? This isn't something I have to create within me because it's already there. As I learn to deal with what's right in front of me in my emotional landscape, I can find relief from the patterns of thinking that I'm not enough or I'm less than. These thoughts create potent emotions that make me believe these negative thoughts about myself. Hey, Michelle, I can be reminded that I'm not the thoughts I'm thinking. I'm the one witnessing the thoughts. I am not my thoughts. Thoughts come and go. And when my thoughts get tripped up and I believe all the kind of crazy stories that my thoughts feed me. This is where simply interrupting my thoughts when I catch them has the power to set me free. As I keep interrupting them, I'll notice that the dark thoughts feel less and less true. This is evidence that I'm shifting my physiology and thus my resting thought rates become more optimistic because I am no longer believing everything I'm thinking. I am witnessing the tiny shifts in my perception and these little changes have the power to transform my life. Thought for the day. What a relief that a little change has the power to become a big change. What if today I can notice even the little, the little change within me? Hang on, I have to circle something here. I have to send that back to the publisher. So there's a little change I need to make there. Um, a lack of a question mark, which is not a huge deal. But so it's so funny um, that, yeah, my husband and I were talking about this today, this idea. He was telling me about, it's called the Shoal Shelf. It's in Antarctica. And he talked about this race, the race, let's call it that, these two guys did. And they did it completely differently. The one guy had these little plans every day he had a like an idea i'm gonna do this go this far no matter what the weather i'm gonna get this far so he had these little incremental shifts every single day the other guy was like i'm just gonna wait till the weather's really nice and then i'm gonna do a big you know a big blast on that day well the weather was so unpredictable and the first guy that was doing these incremental shifts had food that he had buried a year ahead at these waypoints so he had this thing with all these incremental shifts and he knew where the food was going to be for him. Well, he, he, he made it. Apparently the other guy died because he was like, you know, Oh, I'm just going to, you know, and like, it was it, like my husband said, like the weather was unpredictable. So he didn't make it. So little change is a big change. So let's tap karate chop. Even though I live in a culture that loves the superstars. That's all about big, fast changes. What if I could see this differently now? Even though I live in a fast paced, make it happen culture, go big or go home. What if there's another way? Even though I have this belief, I have to see big changes and see them fast. What if there's another way? We go to the eyebrow, all these big changes. That's what I learned to believe. I need to witness. But what if 
a recipe for a long lasting success in any area of my life can be little changes. And what if these little changes add up to a huge change over time? And what if it helps me to build momentum? This isn't a flash in the pan. This is my life. And what if a little change is a big change? And what if the more I catch my thoughts that are not serving me well and I interrupt them, what if over time I start to notice these shifts? I start to see bigger changes because I've made these consistent little shifts that add up to something amazing happening and transforming in my life. So what if my new recipe for success is just to catch these thoughts that aren't serving me and interrupt them. <laughs> and what if before I know it, it's my mournful cat, I'm starting to notice a big shift. I'm starting to feel less bad and more positive. And what if that makes all the difference? Take a breath. That is so how my journey with tapping has been, is just this little incremental shifts and continuing to catch the thoughts. It continues to be my journey with it. Um, and I, I think, you know, the more we do it, Again, it's in our culture, it's all, you know, that we love the superstars. We love the big flash in the pan stuff. And, and yet even the concept of an overnight success, uh, my husband and I talk about and how hilarious that can be because nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes of somebody that's an overnight success, all the time and energy that they've put into something. Um, so anyway, Michelle, great to see you. Marsha, great to see you. That's who I can see is here. And, um, Keep making those little interruptions and uh, yeah. All right. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.